So I had such a nice time on my date. It was wonderful to see the lake. We had such a nice dinner and we talked about our lives. I think he sounded a little intimidated by the things that I love, my friends, the things that they say. My mother used to say, I can sing a song, but I sure can't change a flat tire. So she said, never you feel intimidated by anybody when you're sitting in a room. Because everybody's stupid about something. Trees are so green that they drown at the dollars. Sky is so blue that it makes the world brand new. I don't know how I miss all of these colors. I only know that they show me what was true. Trees are so green that they drown at the dollars. Sky is so blue that it makes the world brand new. I don't know how I miss all of these colors. I only know that they show me what was true. Hi everybody. I'm so happy to see you today. I hope you had a wonderful week and I'm so glad you came back to see me and Coops. Um, I had a really busy week. Um, I, uh, I had been saving up for a year and I bought a new camera uh, so you could um, uh, see my videos a little bit better. I was getting very very frustrated that you know I couldn't really uh, bring you high quality video uh, uh, with the camera that I had so um, so I went out and I bought the um, Canon uh, T-Rebel 6. So, um, and I only bring it up to uh, ask you for your patience because it is uh, very difficult right now for me to learn the shutter speed, um, the uh, best aperture settings, and the light. Everything is brand new for me and it's a little overwhelming so I just, if I could ask for your patience for the next six weeks, it's going to probably be hit or miss with the lighting, with being washed out, with being way too clear. <laughs> Who knows? But. Um, uh, I am really, really trying very hard to learn it, uh, but so far it has been such a fun experience and I think that there's so many things that, you know, I want to do. There's so many things, ideas I have for videos and I can't, I couldn't really do, I couldn't fulfill those, uh, those dreams and those ideas with the camera that I had. A month ago I promised you that I would give you a full update on using the Estee Lauder uh, Night Repair Serum and this is the number one selling serum in the world and uh, I thought you know we were all kind of curious you know to find out you know well why is it you know the number one serum and you know does it really work and did I notice a difference and well we certainly know they have 25 patents on this serum even though they really won't tell us what those patents are although I actually did get sort of an answer on uh, what some of those um, patents uh, have to do with. So this serum is $70 and the number one ingredient in this serum is caffeine. The whole premise I think of this serum is using um, ceramides, uh, hyaluronic acid, and caffeine and some plant roots. Okay. <laughs> So there were two main improvements that I saw from using this serum and one was an amazing plumping uh, action that was going on with my cheeks which made um, my under eye area not look uh, so shallow. Uh, so there was, it almost looked like I had a procedure. Um, so I, there was definitely a plumping up uh, a type of, of look to my face but another thing also Without a doubt, the tone, this very, uh, very bright uh, kind of dewy tone to my skin, it was there, it was real. So when I ran out, and I just ran out of the serum this week, um, yeah, I was a little nervous, but I tell you, I cannot spend $70 on a serum. I, I don't have that kind of money. I don't live that kind of life. So, what did I do? Of course, I started researching. And I started to research every single ingredient that was in this serum and I tried to find a dupe. 
and I think I came up with a pretty good one. So in me finding out a little bit of why this serum is so popular and why it works, I think it really helped me settle on uh, a cheaper product that I think uh, has a very, very similar formula. Not only a similar formula, <laughs> But the bottles look the same. Uh, the serum smells uh, uh, very similar. So the dupe that I found for the Estee Lauder serum is the L'Oreal. <laughs> look at this. It's called the Night Repair Serum. Um, and this is called um, Night Repair. And this is Night Repair. And gee, isn't it amazing? They look so similar. So on the right is the Estee Lauder Night Repair and that's going to run you between $65 and $90. And on the left is called Skin Repair. It's by L'Oreal. As you can see from the packaging, uh, they're pretty much identical except that the, you get more uh, from the L'Oreal. And the main ingredient of both of them is caffeine. They both have a lot of seed extract and they both have a lot of hyaluronic acid. The formulas are very, very similar and it's very interesting what L'Oreal has done is they have copied so many of Estee Lauder's ingredients, only given them another name. <laughs> $90 on the right, the number one serum uh, in the world. And on the left, it's going to run me $15 today to, uh, to give it a whirl and I, I think I'm going to give it a whirl. So the dupe that I found for it was the L'Oreal Age Perfection uh, Night Repair Serum. They didn't even change the name. And you know the funny thing is, is uh, L'Oreal and Estee Lauder, they have a feud going back like 75 years where they just hate each other. So I, I just thought that was like so hilariously funny. Like L'Oreal completely ripped them off and it's just amazing. But So this serum's ingredients is so close to what the Estee Lauder serum's ingredients are. This revolves around plant seed extracts, ceramides, and caffeine. And you're probably thinking, okay, you know, why is caffeine, what is the deal with caffeine? Um, why is everybody clamoring to get, you know, under eye creams that have caffeine in it, um, night creams with caffeine? So I thought we would just go over that real quick. Okay. Caffeine is one of the best antioxidants that we can put on our face. Uh, it helps us fight free radicals and it helps us fight the damage that is already done. Also, caffeine is a natural sunscreen and it helps block uh, the rays of the sun uh, that uh, so it acts like a sunscreen for us when it's in our products. Um, the third thing that caffeine does is it is a natural diuretic so as we get older you know we have the extra uh, fluid in our face around our eyes and in our jowl area and so the caffeine when used topically uh, takes that uh, uh, liquid and the puffiness down so it gives us a more useful appearance in our jaw area and around our eyes. Um, another thing that caffeine does is it restricts our blood vessels. So in other words if our blood vessels are restricted uh, then the tone of our face uh, the redness is going to disappear, the discolorations are going to disappear, and it's going to, our face is going to appear firmer. So I was just kind of amazed um, when, I, uh, when I saw some of those results. So, um, so that you know, explains a little bit uh, why caffeine is so important uh, as a beauty product. And it seemed to me that you know, there are no long-term benefits of using caffeine. Um, you know, caffeine is found in both of these serums. The serum uh, by Estee Lauder is the number one you know, selling serum in the world. And, you know, the ingredient is caffeine. So, you know, maybe they really are onto something there. But it's nothing that's going to be lasting for us. You know, it's going to be like Botox, you know, where you have to keep getting it done. Well, the caffeine, when we put it on in the morning, um, yeah, it, it's going to, you know, turn the clock back for us. But at night when we wash our face, you know, um, it goes away. So there's that. Found another similarity I found 
uh, in the formulas of these two serums is that uh, they both rely heavily on ceramides and they both claim to have a patented uh, way to deliver the ceramides deep within our skin because they shrunk the molecule. Because, you know, so many of the molecules uh, that are in the good ingredients uh, for us, they're too big to actually penetrate deep within our skin, but they are claiming that they found a way to shrink the molecule on the ceramides. So both of these companies are saying the same thing and so therefore they're both claiming that uh, we would be able to hold in our moisture and look more youthful and it would almost give us the appearance that we had, you know, some kind of fillers put in because we're just so puffy in the good way. <laughs> so. You can really see where there are so many similarities between these two serums. So, you know, if you want to have the Estee Lauder experience with a serum, I mean, I don't know. I mean, because they're so similar, I would just go out and, and buy the night repair that you can get at the drugstore for under $20. I don't like to use a lot of brushes on my face. I always think that the weakest parts uh, of my face that show the most damage throughout the years is where I put my blush on with a brush. All those years, decades of doing that. So I try not to use brushes on my face at all if I can help it. And um, you know, my favorite blush in the world is the uh, the rose from the Iden. Um, Iden. And I think it's such a beautiful blush, but I think it goes on really beautiful with a beauty blender. I think it just, it looks so natural and pretty. I like it. Blush is my very, very favorite thing. I went on my date with Steve. He drove me um, to uh, the lake shore where he's building a home. Uh, he showed me the land where he's going to build the home on. He's already built a couple homes on the lake that are very beautiful. I'm like a, I'm like the official photographer here. Or something. It's funny. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and. Um, so we had a very nice time. We had a lovely dinner by the lake and um, it was a long drive there. It was a long drive home and we got to know each other. Yeah. It was nice. It was nice. When I first started filming on YouTube, I was using a camera that was 15 years old and uh, it didn't shoot HD um, videos. Uh, they were very grainy and dark. And So after my first few videos, I loved it so much, I went to Best Buy and I bought a Canon PowerShot for um, uh, $179 and I was so excited to get it and I used it for uh, about 14 months so the majority of my videos um, were shot on this camera I believe it, it might be 50-50 now but uh, I was so excited to get this camera and then one day I was out and I had uh, this camera stolen from me um, but a couple of months later, the detectives did find out who stole it. They went to the house and got my camera back. Well, too late. I had already bought another camera to replace this one. I replaced it with a bigger camera. <laughs> but again, it was a Canon uh, point and shoot. Uh, but this time around, it was about $289 with the it was a much better lens um, so you could see me more clearly and I do remember I had a really good friend, I, she's still my friend, a content creator and when I went from this camera and I upgraded to this camera like the cheaper camera you have the better you look so when I upgraded to the big camera she wrote me and she said oh my goodness you have wrinkles I didn't know you had any wrinkles I was like <laughs> I was crushed. <laughs>
<laughs> but it's funny because you go through all those emotions like, oh, you know, now I'm just going to look terrible because I have this new camera. And I mean, weird, at least for me, all these weird things were in my head like, I'll never learn it. I won't get the lighting right. Nobody will watch me. The people who do watch me will hate me. <laughs> what happened with this camera? I love this camera is the bomb for uh, vlogging and, and uh, photographing things up close. I think it's beautiful. The colors are beautiful. And this is the fastest autofocus I have ever seen on a camera. One of the reasons, now I upgraded to the camera that I'm recording on right now. And this camera is great for clarity. Um, there's many things that I'm going to be able to film on this camera that I couldn't on those other two. I'm happy and I'm excited and I'm a little scared because learning something new is always scary. But in my heart, I thought, if I'm going to ask you to spend 20 minutes of your precious time with me, I want to show you that respect and I want to give you the best quality video I can make. Thank you so much for this time we spent today. I loved every minute of it. And I hope you have a wonderful brand new week. And when you're done with your week, I hope you come back and see me, okay? And Cooper, too. Okay. here in 45 minutes. I have to vacuum. I don't know. Is that important? I don't know. Not last night, you know, oh, I better get some Ajax and scrub my bathtub, and, you know, in case my date comes and he, you know, like, judges people by their bathtub. But I couldn't find any Ajax at the store, so I bought a whole bunch of bleach, and then I thought, well, no, I don't want to use bleach because he'll think I committed a murder or something, you know, so it was just such a dilemma. Screw that. I can't see. When I get nervous, I can't see. You know, <sighs> dating is so stressful. If I ever get a boyfriend or a husband, <laughs> I'm going to be so good to that man just so I never, ever have to date again. Because this sucks. But you know, even when you say something sucks, you kind of look back on it later and just go, you know what, that was like the best time of my life.